Mary Bruce, you have Congressman Costello with you. Yes, George, he is, and thank you. We are joined by with Congressman Costello of Pennsylvania. You were supposed to be there at that practice this morning. I missed my uh, ICAR pool with Brad Wenstrup, who actually was the one who put the, helped out with uh, Steve Scalise on the field. Uh, and we have a rule, 6 a.m., if I'm there, we go. If I'm not, I'll find another ride. I walked out the Longworth office building at 6.02. I texted him and Rodney Davis, who's the catcher on the team and who also was part of our carpool, and they said they just left. So I went back to the house gym and was waiting for another ride to see if somebody else, another member was leaving. By 6.18, no one was down there, which is unusual because I've always been able to hitch another ride. Uh, and so at 6.18, I was like, ah, it's going to be too late to get another ride because it's about a 20-minute drive to the, the baseball park. And just went and got ready for work, went up to my office and was reading when I heard on the television that um, uh, baseball practice, shooting Congress, and I looked up and it was the baseball field that we practice at. And then I thought something, it was like I, I was seeing something or hearing something wrong. And then I heard about Steve, and um, and then ever since then, it's just been a whirlwind of selfishly thinking about how it could have been me and how bad it could have been. But then I get back to the really important thing, which is I know those five people. They're good people. They work hard, and their families, and how much worse it could have been for more people. And now, knowing what I know, I'm just grateful that they're all going to be okay, and that their families know they're going to be okay. And we were talking when you first walked up here about how this, you said it seems to be hitting you in waves. Has this had a moment really to, to sink in, given the timing of all of this for you especially? Well, I think I go back and forth. I mean, I'm sure I'll probably tear up again <laughs> within the next hour when I think about what, how worse it could have been or, you know, my family being without me and other members' family, something happening to them. I mean, that's, I mean, it was that close. Um, and uh, where I would have been would have been right in the line of fire. And I would have been there, uh, given where I, I mean, I'm shortstop Steve is second base. Um, but then I also think about th them and their family. I mean, my wife is beside herself. My mom's beside herself. And then I think, like, well, what about the wife of Steve Scalise? What about the wife of that uh, security detail? What are they thinking? What are their kids thinking? And that's, that's, when, that's what really hits you. And then you realize, like, it doesn't matter that I was almost there. They were there, and they did experience that. And seeing that, what happened, even hearing what happened, is, it's traumatic just hearing about it, because I, I know exactly where he was, what trees he was behind. And it had to have been even worse for members that were there. And we understand now it seems that um, the shooter may have had some political motivations. When you, the more you learn about the shooter, what do you think? The fact that he was going up to some of your, your colleagues, in fact, right before it seems, and asking if they were Republicans or Democrats playing on that field. Well, we are in, I have a public responsibility, as does every member of Congress. Americans rightly identify with one political party or another or neither increasingly neither. And sometimes uh, people feel that Democrats are bad or Republicans are bad, and we forget that we're human beings, that we have families, that we want what's best for everyone. I want what's best for you and your family, even if you disagree with me or I may disagree with you. And sometimes that stuff gets lost in the shuffle. And we're at a moment in time where our political culture is very toxic, and I think that my responsibility always is to lower the temperature, try and bring back more civility, and um, if somebody attacks me or ter makes it about me or is mean, um, I can do one of three things. I can ignore it, I can be mean back, or I can try and inform that person that I'm working hard, you might disagree with me, but I care about you even if you may, not, if, even if you may disagree with me. And I think that that's the message.